right? It's up to us to help them remind them that it's okay that they can tell everyone else about it too. When these college admissions directors are looking at their feeds, they want to know what sports they're part of. They want to know and verify if they're in choir, if they're in theater. So at the, with the concerts that they're at, post about it. If they're doing a, con like a concert, like a band concert, post about that too. They're spending enough of their time every single day doing it. They just don't think it's cool right now. And that's one of the things I was trying to tell the kids. It's, you know, it's way cooler than you think it is. I always try to get them out of like the school sense and out of the, the peer pressure sense because, you know, I can connect with them because I played sports and that's how I connect with a lot of kids. But realistically, I was in band all four years. You know, I didn't even know sports was cool. I was just told by my parents that they can afford for me to go to college unless I got a full scholarship. <laughs> so I got a full scholarship, right? I was a yo-yoer. I played Magic the Gathering in the library. So I, I was hiding all of this stuff from everybody. But then once I started talking about it, I started being okay with myself about it, then that's when I realized who my people were, because then those people would start coming out too. Right? I had no idea, or else we would have wanted to play with you too. You know? And that's a cool thing. That, that's one of the positives that social media has to bring. You know, we always hear about the negatives, right? But it's such a big tool, and it's such a great tool if we know how to use it effectively. So, that time when these people are scrolling down their feeds, they're seeing their personal interests, and they're seeing extracurricular activities. They're not seeing pictures of the floor. They could be posting pictures of food, but like not every lunch, right? <laughs> <laughs> and ultimately, when kids are, your kids are posting about their extracurricular activities, they're really valuing the team-oriented and the process-driven things in their life that they have to master. You know, it could be band. It could be them practicing every single day. Like, you're valuing that work. And that's what, this is where they're allowed to share it, and they're allowed to get those utiles of pleasure when people like their posts of something that they spend a lot of time working on. And that's something that if we can help facilitate, if we can help them feel like that's okay, that's, that's us helping them, them out emotionally and mentally. The third level, the third piece of content that they should be sharing is about community service and academics. I know everyone on this campus is doing community service already. Why not share about it? They don't think it's cool. I told them today it was. I told them today that when you show yourself doing community service and you value your community environment, it's going to tell a lot more about you for that person who's background checking you. I don't know the people who apply to work with me, that's one of the first things I check is where are they spending their time, where are they spending their free time. If they're doing a lot of community service, if they're helping out, then I know that if I invite them into my world, they're not going to only do their job. They're going to do their best to make my world better. They're going to do their best to make the environment around them better. And that's something that shows a lot about the character of a person. The kids don't understand that. Like they, they're doing all this community service anyways on campus. They don't think it's cool to talk about it. I think if you're a college admissions director and if you see your kids posting about that, you're going to want to learn a little bit more about that kid. When I was betting professional athletes, I had a rejection rate of, what, 60%. That means 60% of the athletes who said they wanted to work with me, I said no. Because, you know what, in that 30 seconds, in that minute, I was able to tell you where they were spending their time, and you know what, if they didn't care enough about the community right now, I wasn't going to change their personalities. You know, if they never did any community service, like that's something that I think every athlete should do. Every athlete should be involved in their community. Every athlete should give back. If they're not doing that on their own, they need to have different conversations with different people because they don't understand their responsibility in this world. But with students, yeah, if you're going to make that whole world around you better, if I'm not that admissions director, that's a positive trait. That's a positive attribute that you want your students to have because you know they're going to be involved on campus. So the fourth quarter. This is the quarter that a lot of kids don't understand, is you have to be able to engage with the people around you. You have to be able to communicate and talk. That's what network means. So when you're engaging with those people around you, you don't have to talk to World Star, right? You don't have to post comments and talk to your, like Kim Kardashian or other favorite celebrities. 
because that's not going to help achieve their personal and professional goals. Is there anything wrong with it? Not at all. But if they're not using social media as a tool to accomplish something, then they're wasting their time doing that. So I know when I first started out, I think I, I said I had me and five other professional athletes writing articles about on my site. The next 50, I think I only met in real life 15 of them. 